Hello my dear learners. I hope that our learning pace is not going down as we are at our places. So let's gear up gear it up for today as well. This is Preeti right with you so that we can continue with our personalized learning sessions. Now I hope that you all are keeping in mind our previous lessons and previous sessions as well. Like in the previous ones we were discuss about we were discussing about the aquatic plants and our today's session will be based on aquatic animals and of course their types as well we are going to learn about different types of animals which we generally see in aquatic life system or the water system is it clear so let's get started first of all the very basic thing that what exactly the aquatic animals are aquatic animals are the animals which live in water means their habitat is water the surroundings in which they are living they are surviving they are residing is nothing but water now what exactly happens is that these particular animals are going to face certain type of problems and they have their different kind of struggles when it comes to the survival inside water but what happens is that they have different type of special features and body structures with which they can actually adapt themselves to the water surroundings as per that what happens is their survival becomes easier of course this is done by the nature but we have this particular type of structure with us now in today's class we will be looking into certain specific type of aquatic animals which are very much familiar to all of you but you don't know what exactly is their uh, specific feature and how do we categorize them and do we have any specific name or common name for all those organisms so we'll look into all these things in today's session so the very first type of organism that we have today is fishes now fishes are the uh, organisms which have streamlined body and this particular type of structure will going to help the organism in swimming without any kind of resistance or hindrance now uh, this particular type of uh, structure you see in case of boats ships as well as aeroplanes where the uh, start section and the end section of the particular object or living organism will be narrower as compared to the middle section that will be broader now what exactly this particular structure looks like is that is right in front of you over here as you can see that this particular structure is a circular structure on the other hand this particular structure is broader at particular section that is the middle section or the initial section and the other section is narrower now the same kind of structure is observed in fishes as well that is their tail region and their mouth region is narrow as compared to their middle section or the central part of the body now here are certain other things also which i have mentioned for you in this particular picture that is what exactly are the terminologies used with reference to a particular organism that is fish so these structures are that you should be basically able to find out or you can say identify and you should be aware of the terms which are related with this thing so the major terms that you need to work on in today's class is about fin and gills and tails fins are basically uh, wing like structures they are uh, light feathery structures and the main purpose of their presence on the body is that they help in swimming on the other hand when we talk about the tail tail is nothing as it is at the posterior part the end of the body that is why it is mentioned as tail it is also uh, the last part of the body and now this also helps in the uh, movement and swimming purposes on the other hand what exactly is the most important aspect about fishes is that they have gills right here in this particular figure you can see that it is mentioned gill but what exactly is the structure the structure is this one this curved structure is known as gill 
now what exactly is the what exactly is the reason or, or like what is exactly the function of this particular structure that it helps in taking the oxygen from water now just try to make out that what exactly is the reason that we are talking about oxygen the reason behind this is that we are talking about the process of breathing of course any animal who is living on the earth will going to need oxygen for respiration purposes and breathing purposes so that is what is the particular uh, role played by the fishes and gills inside the fishes is it clear okay now i think I, we can move to the next section that is the aquatic mammals now what exactly these organisms are and of course if these particular organisms are uh, living inside the water most of them will going to have the same streamlined body and on the other hand what we are going to find here is that they will going to have fins as well but these particular organisms lack gills now if they lack gills then what is their breathing mechanism their me their breathing mechanism is quite unique what exactly happens is that in case of these particular organisms the organism is going to have a blow hole on the head and this blow hole is nothing but just like the nostrils in our case so what happens is that through these nostrils or blow holes on the head of the organism they take in the water for uh, sorry they take in the oxygen now if i ask you to get inside a pool and try to breathe inside it when you are beneath the surface of the water i don't think that you will be able to uh, breathe easily because the water will come on inside your nose that will going to uh, create problem in the breathing process so for that what you do is you generally come on on the surface or out of the surface for that so the same technique is being followed by such organisms over here like in case of whale it is simply the streamlined body that i have represented for you on the other hand here the whale is using the blow hole over here you can see this particular immersion of water this is with the reference of blow hole only and here in case of dolphin you can see that there is this black dot on the head this black dot is basically the uh, structure i want to uh, make your notification into that this particular structure is the blow hole which helps in the breathing process now next is amphibians now what amphibians means amphibians are basically the organisms which have dual life cycle dual life cycle means that if we ta take the example of ourselves we live only on land but these uh, the amphibians they live on both land and water means they for their requirement they are going to come on the land and for their requirement they can again go inside the water and the best example that i have for you right now is frogs frogs are the uh, organisms which do such things uh they can live inside the water bodies as well and they are they can generally be seen on the land as well so what are their specific features which help them in this particular uh requirement of the life cycle of their part now the very first thing is that they have moist skin now what is this moist skin means that the skin will going to be uh wet or you can say it will going to be moistened because of different uh, kinds of secretions from their body that is why what happens is if you are going to try to touch a, uh, the skin of a frog you will feel that it is quite slimy that is because of the moist skin the stickiness in the particular skin type now what happens is this particular skin helps in breathing when they are inside the water on the other hand for land they have lungs just like us so that they can breathe easily now what happens is apart from this thing when they are moving inside the water what they are going to uh, use as an another 
advantage to their body is that they are going to have webbed feet webbed feet what exactly does this mean this is a specific type of structure which you can actually see over here in case of toads as well as in case of frogs that they the structure are like this they are just like web so because of this what will happen it will going to work as the uh, mediator for movement that is the swimming purposes so that is how these particular kind of organisms live inside the water without any problems now the next type of organism that we are moving into is crustaceans now this term is i know very well this thing that uh, this particular term, uh, term is quite new to all of you but of course it is a part of our syllabus so we'll look into it in detail so what exactly crustaceans are if i'm go like if i want to generalize it for all of you then in that case it will be the situation or it will be the kind of organisms which are shelled like organisms means in these particular kind of organisms you will see shells on the body like yeah like it's like a covering right so the example for this can be a crab it can be some other shelled organism like uh, molluscs are there so these are the different types now what happens is in these kind of organisms that uh, they breathe through gills because these are also the type of organisms which move in and out of the body no oh, sorry the water body they can easily move in and out of the water bodies so they use water as a medium for their different life cycle parts for example some of them use it for laying eggs for example they use it for movement from one place to the other place or attaching to some other body like over here the barnac barnacles are here which are shelled organisms and they are just attached to another surface and we have different organisms over here like this like crab we have shrimps prawns lobsters they all are part of the crustacean category so the specific feature about this thing is that they have shell like organisms or they have shell like covering on the body on the other hand they have gills for respiration and on the other hand the other part is that that they have special kind of limbs with which they can swim very well okay so now the last topic of today's session is about turtles now what exactly these organisms are these organisms are very much familiar to all of you but because of the pictures yeah these are turtles nothing else now what are their specific feature now you can see in the structure as well that the particular organism is having the specific type of limbs these structures these are the limbs so these lim limbs are basically pedal like flippers means they are flippered structures now what exactly happens is that with these flippers they can actually swim easily by pushing the water backward the way we used to swim when we are doing the forward strokes so just like this particular or uh, like just like we do it when we are swimming the same type of uh, swimming technique is used by these type of organisms that is by uh, pushing the water backward that is how they are able to move ahead of the water currents uh, so this is it class so we are done with today's class i hope it was informative i hope it was crisp and i hope that it is uh, like i am able to convey the knowledge which i have with all of you on the other hand i'll keep looking forward for new things new content in the particular chapter that we have and till then uh, till our next class will like next online session i look forward to all of you that you all will going to work on yourself you are going to create queries and you all will come up with the with your uh, respective queries so that we can work again and again on the topics and we can make the topics crystal clear for all of you so um till the next session stay safe be happy 
stay active with your learning and take care of your self bye bye